can you take us through uh, the, the first and the second interception? Yeah. Uh, first one, you know, I saw, I think it was Watkins screaming. Uh, he ran it, that, that route a couple times uh, earlier in the game. Uh, and <laughs> I'm dropping for him. And I just hear Q, I'm running with him. And uh, uh, Quandre yells, Jew, middle of the play. And because the ball was in the air. So I, I beat on it. I had good positioning and just looked up. The ball was floating and came down with it. Uh, second play, you know, I just had a good feeling of them going to go to number 11. You know, A.J. Brown's a real deal receiver. And I was honestly watching him that entire play. I was in the post. Uh, I saw the double move. I just took off and saw the ball floating. And I must be living right because it's got my feet in, thankfully. You could hear Quandre yelling at you in the middle of that play. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, at home, you know, mid-play, nobody's really yelling. Um, you're seeing what's happening. And, yeah, we have good communication between us. And, yeah, I heard him yelling, thankfully. So you had deep post responsibility on the last one. Yeah. So you weren't where you were supposed to be. <laughs> hey, I'm where the ball is. And so, yeah, I would say I was, uh, I'm where I was supposed to be. Big picture, what, what does this game mean for you guys after losing four in a row to get this one? This is huge. I think just, you know, December football is critical. And you just need some energy and some motivation and some uh, momentum going into the end of the season. And so I think we needed this game. Uh, nothing's guaranteed going forward. We know that. But we got to carry this juice going forward. We, you know, just a few plays here or there the past couple of weeks have really brought us down. But this, I, I already know, is going to revitalize us. What does it mean to you guys to have to finish this game? I know a couple of games recently that you guys have had to leave. You've been close, and the defense hasn't been able to quite come through with those plays. And to yeah. be involved directly in making those plays still. Yeah, I said it, you know, maybe last week, a few weeks ago, whatever. Like, we're, we make big plays each game. You know, offense, defense, special teams, we're making plays out there. It's just putting out together the cohesive effort to just be consistent and not give up the, the one-off plays. I think today we did that. I mean, obviously, that's a good team out there. Uh, Philly's a good team, well-coached team, and they're going to make plays. But we played cohesively and just built off of our success. It sounds like you've got a pretty big week ahead. Pete Carroll mentioned <laughs> two big plays in this game, which is exciting. You guys are welcoming a baby. Yeah, uh, hopefully, you know, a healthy baby boy comes this week. Uh, my wife has been doing a, a, a killer job throughout this crazy stretch of football. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, next time you hear from me, I'll have a, a newborn on my hands. After playing this team, to, what does it tell you about this team, just to, to go from losing four in a row, backs against the wall, to come out and do this against the 10 team? You know, obviously it shows that we're resilient. We, it's easy to kind of just give up on the year. I think, you know, we have a lot of high character people in that locker room and people just didn't back down. I mean, Bobby and Gino early in the week challenged us, um, you know, got up in front of the team meeting uh, on Wednesday or Thursday and just addressed us, just said what was in front of us. And, you know, I'll let them talk about what they said specifically. But I think we all got the message that everything we have is in front of us um, for, for the taking. And so we just have to obviously get this one, and thankfully we did. After some of the plays that Jalen and the Eagles got last year against you guys when you were the Giants, mm -hmm. does that make it sweeter than what you've got today? Of course. Uh, yeah, they lost them three times last year, and that was tough. Tough loss with all of them. Uh, and I have the best teammates in the world. You know, they had my back, I had their back, and yeah, thankfully uh, we got the win, or I got the win this year. Julian, how satisfying. <coughs> you've had kind of an interesting year. Early in the year, ton of snaps. And that went down for a while, but now you get a chance to play again. How satisfying and how challenging has it been for you? Uh, I wouldn't say it's been too challenging. I think just my whole mindset to attacking football is just whenever I'm out there, make the most, make the most of it. Be productive. You know, whether I'm running down on punt, I'm going to try to make a tackle, and I have been doing that. And I've just stayed steady. You know, I try to reflect and just think that football is just me playing in the backyard when I was a kid. And I just carry that mindset with me, and I think it leads to success. And so... That's been my whole mindset, whether I'm playing a lot, playing a little. Um, whenever I'm out there, I just need to be having fun and producing. Anything else? Nothing else. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.